And we're now joined by members of the Texas A&M Commerce Lions Women's Basketball Program in the center of our podium, the head coach, Jason Burton. On the near side, we have Deani Robinson. Deani's a sophomore guard from Cypress, Texas. On the far side, Juliana Louis. Juliana is a senior forward from Long Beach, California. And coach, I know you're just coming off a uh, very difficult loss but for a championship game as a fan, you couldn't ask for much more, but uh, talk about the game from your perspective. <clears throat> Proud of my girls. That's a tough one to swallow. Um, we competed. We we played well enough to win the game, um, and it falls on me. You know, game that close. There's a lot of things that I could have done better, but I know this. I know our girls played hard enough, played well enough to win the game, and we'll make sure that next week, um, when we have a chance to play again, which is a blessing in this whole thing. They've competed all year at a high level and put themselves in, in a great position to make a run um, for a national championship. This is a national ca championship caliber team. And um, I'll make sure that that do a better job down the stretch in the fourth quarter of, of putting us in the best position to win the game. I know the adage says stats don't tell all the story, but you look at the stat sheet, both teams made 25 field goals. There was one three-point difference. 13 free throws for both teams, the rebounds, the separation of two. Neither team turned the ball over an appreciable number of times. This was a great basketball game. It was. We, we, we did a lot of things great, man. 21 offensive rebounds by our team. Um, I mean, I've been been asking them for a long time to take care of the basketball. We only had eight turnovers. I talked about it at the podium yesterday. We had 17 turnovers last night in the, in the semifinal. And we turn around in a game where you know, we're playing three days in a row and only have eight turnovers. To 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 do that, you know, um, our shot selection was a lot better. We went from a game where we shot 20 plus threes to we took nine threes. That's a team that's more like us. We, we got the ball to the paint. Um, you know, we, we, we came up a rebound short. I mean, that's, that's what it comes down to. We, we uh, but you, it's not just one possession, that last possession. There's, there's a lot throughout the game that we could have did a little bit better. Um, but West Texas is a really good team. Uh, hats off to them. Congrats to them. But um, you know, we, we hope that we get a chance to see them again at our place. Deani, uh, 19 points, five rebounds for an outside guard. You hit a big shot there in the final minute. Did you think that was going to be enough to put you over the top? Uh, I did because we were playing good defense. We made smart choices, and we played together as a team, and I couldn't ask for anything better, so yeah. Juliana, 12 points, 15 big rebounds. We all know and coaches talked about the game plan is rebound the basketball and get the ball up court with 15 rebounds. Do you feel your contribution was there today? Yes, I, I gave it all I got. I mean, I'm old. <laughs> so I, I went through so much and um, I really felt I left it all on the floor and and it shows, so yeah. Coach, it's a tough way to uh, end the, your time in the Lone Star Conference Tournament as a Division II team, but to have next week and a good chance you're at home next week in the regional, what's going to be your message to the team after this initial heartbreak settles down uh, to get them ready to go for a, a chance at a national title next? Same message has been all year. I mean, we have what it takes. We, we, we have, Julian doesn't like when I, when I say stuff that it's a jinx, but we haven't lost back to back games all year. We, we've, we've come back a better team after every loss. We, we've been able to look at ourselves in the mirror um, from me to every player to every assistant coach and find ways to get better. And that's what's been special about this group is they're hungry. And we all realize that we, we've we got things we can do better and we own them. And that's going to be the message that let's own the things that we could have done better. Because in games like this, this close, 
everybody could have did something a little bit better. And let's find what that is, and let's not make the same mistake again next week. Coach, how would you describe this team's mental makeup? It's unbelievable, man. It's, it's an unbelievably tough team. And Jay right here from just, you look at the stat line. She's plus 10. There's nobody else on either 10, on either team that her plus minus is, is 10. And she, she got stopped. She rebounded the ball. She just made winning plays. And it's not just her. I mean, Yanni stepped up and made some big time shots, but not just that. If the defensive intensity is there, we got a tough team and we have a team that's seen all types of adversity. If you knew all the stuff that happened behind the scenes with this team, that we still find ways to got to get 26 wins and to keep battling and to keep fighting for each other. Um, they're unbelievable people. And they're gonna be great in life. I'm gonna miss this one and Naya so much when they're gone. Because they're warriors. They're competitors and mentally tough, love them to death. In this game, WT in the fourth quarter shot over 60%. What did they change in the final quarter that made the difference? I mean, it's a good team. It's a good team. And, you know, we probably didn't do as good of a job of uh, some of their ISOs. They ISO some guards at the elbow. Uh, they tried to post up Taylor a little bit more. Um, and we had some breakdowns as far as probably not helping down as much as we probably could have. But they just. It's a good team. They make good plays. I, I, we're two high-level teams. Talking about two teams that have 23-plus wins on the year now. And players are going to make plays, and they got a, a team full of really good players. And so, um, but we do too. We just came a little bit short today. The blessing is the season's not over. Look forward to uh, another week of regionals next weekend. Thanks for the time, and good luck next week. Appreciate it. Thank you.